Okay, so I don't know how long this is going to take, but because it's Pride Month and it's my first year out as gay, I just thought I'd just openly talk about how I came to that realization. So ever since middle school, I kind of had feelings for dudes without even knowing what gay, bisexual, or lesbian, any of that stuff meant because I was 11. Um, I would say that I did have this one crush on this one guy in middle school. We were in a, one class together, and we were in the same um, grade. And he was my legitimate first guy crush. And then on top of that, I had a crush on a girl at the exact same time. So I was like, hmm, looking back on it, I did think I was bi for a really long time. And then flash forward to middle, or not middle school, high school. Freshman year, I was in this foods class with these guys who I thought were really attractive. And I never really talked to them. I knew who they were, but I didn't, like, know their names. I couldn't remember their names or anything. But I thought they were really attractive. So I was like, you know what? I, I'm bisexual. So I came out to my family in November when I was 15. I turned 15 in September. And so there was that. They were like 100% supportive because, you know, this is a young teenager thinking he's attracted to the same sex or whatever. So my sister, on the other hand, she was okay with it. Like, she doesn't care. Um, but my parents did for religious reasons, obviously. But, you know, fast forward to now, I'm gay. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, I'm gay, and I just, I have no, like, re like legit, explanation as to why I'm saying that and why I know that because I do know that um it, it's just it's very hard to explain but all in all I know who I am and I'm proud of that but at the same time I'm really proud of the place that I live in that I live in the United States of America where I can live as a gay American and not be threatened or you know under um under a lot of um, extreme pressure from, you know, the government and, you know, where I'm not living in a homophobic um, country, which this place is not. So, yeah, that's my story.